Greetings from Body Lock. Unfortunately, when we try to explain to shop owners, managers, and body men that we can save them 50% of their time on a substantial portion of their jobs, 90% of the people say they're not interested. However, if any insurance adjuster were to come in their shop and say he wanted to pay them double on the same portion of those jobs, they would jump at it. Let us explain why the body lock elevated system ends up taking half the time that any drive-on machine takes to do the disassembling, pulling, and reassembly. Taking the suspension, inner panels, core supports, etc. off a vehicle is going to be much faster in the body man's stall elevated 10 inches off the floor, which is a comfortable working height, versus the same work on a rack. After you're done pulling, reassembly will also be much faster in a body man's stall, where his tools are, and at the same comfortable working height. Moving a crippled car, or just moving a car that runs, takes time. Think about how much time it takes in your shop. Time it, and remember, if four men are required to move the car, multiply that by four. In most cases, if the job is a light pull, the pulling can be done before the car is on the rack. If it's a heavy pull, look at our CD. It shows a body man in real time, no studio stunts, elevating and anchoring a car in four and a half minutes. Nothing else is that fast. Why use a rack to anchor a car versus the floor? It's the prestige of the expensive machine. The car doesn't know what's anchoring it, as long as it's solid. And let's face it, a cement floor has less flex than a steel machine. Also, the chain doesn't know how expensive the machine is that is pulling it, as long as it can pull at any angle 360 degrees around the car. Some racks don't have that capability. You can use as many pulling posts with our system as you want. Quality. Which machine can you get the best quality from? That's determined by the body man and the measuring methods that he uses. With our system, any measuring system can be used as is. Most racks require you to raise the car so you will have room for the measuring system. The best way to do this is by using ramps to drive the car on. However, you see most racks with the car supported by the pinch welds with the suspension hanging. No matter what anybody says, that cannot be the proper way to correct the damage because a car flexes as much as three quarters of an inch from end to end. How could you pull the door openings and then set it back down and expect the doors to fit? How are you going to gauge the front with it sagging? Our competition says the cars at the factory are built on jigs supported at the torque box. This can be true. However, the weight, engine, transmission, suspension, fenders, hood, bumpers, etc., are all added after the inner panel and core supports are welded on. Thus, no sagging. If you pull a door opening and have the door fitted while the pinch weld supports the car, when you set the car down on the suspension, the door will not fit. If you put a fender or quarter panel while the pinch weld supports the car, when you set it down, the lines will change. Now consider this. Remember how complicated cars are? Even good measuring systems don't have measurements for all points. And a body man can miss correcting a spot. If he repaired the car in a rack and he is now in his stall fitting parts, does he move the car back to the rack or does he fudge the job? With the body lock system in his stall, the car is left loaded until all parts are welded and installed. So if he misses a pull, it's simple and quick to roll the post over and make another pull. It's a fact that cycle time is important to the insurance company, the body man's paycheck, and the shop's bottom line. Keeping the car in the body man's stall will save you 50% of your time on the dismantling, pulling, and reassembly operation. Now, watch our video. This is Jimmy Nix, a body man at Trophy Nissan, the largest Nissan dealership in the country. He boasted 
that he could set up a car on roller plates and anchor it in under six minutes. I bet him he couldn't. I wanted him to use our new equipment for the vehicles, but he said he would rather use his roller plates, his stands, his jack, his impact, and his tie downs in his stall. We agreed. We put 15 systems in Trophy in 1999, so his equipment is four years old. The purpose of this part of the tape is to show you that no other anchoring system can come close to our setup and disconnect time. Moving a crippled vehicle can be a problem in your shop. But with the body lock elevated anchoring system, the car doesn't need to be moved back and forth to a machine. With the vehicle elevated off the working surface, you have easy access to rockers and the undercarriage. Also, you have plenty of room for whatever type of measuring system you wish to use. He can't find his impact. He could have cut 15 seconds off this. <laughs> With just four anchors in the floor, we have 28 inches of width adjustment and 26 inches of length adjustment. If you do Mercedes, two additional anchors are needed. stands have seven inches of height adjustment. If anchoring stands don't have height adjustment, they are far less expensive to build, but hookup time is more than tripled, and the suspension isn't loaded. With the suspension loaded, as on ours, the body man leaves the vehicle elevated and anchored until all the sheet metal is welded and fastened on. Then if by chance he missed on pulling a part, it's convenient to correct it properly rather than being tempted to fudge it. Trophy Nissan has 15 of our systems and one drive-on rack. They have 16 body men. They found if each man has his own system, then no one waits in line. The cycle time is at a minimum. The body men make bigger paychecks. And the shop attracts and keeps the better body men. Better body men mean more volume, higher profits, and fewer redos. Well, Jenny, <coughs> Jimmy Nix not only beat six minutes, his time was four minutes and 39 seconds. Jimmy is now impacting down the one inch bolts, then he is ready to pull from any direction. He didn't want to take the $50, but gave in within a few seconds. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs>